No, no, uh, Dr. Leibman, you said we have to change our nature. Can we, how do we change our nature? It sounds a bit of a, like a tall order. Okay. For that, actually, is, this is what the actual Torah is intended for. But it's not the, the Torah that we're familiar with, but rather it's the wisdom of Kabbalah, the essence of the Torah. It talks about how we can actually come together. And what's interesting here is that to the extent that we actually create these bonds between us, we influence all the other levels of nature, from the inanimate to the vegetative to the animate to the human level. We bring all all of them into harmony, all of them into that complete interconnection that the world needs today. And otherwise it leads to crisis and, and, and crumbling of the world. That's why we're guilty. That's what depends on us, that connection between us. Now how to do it, there is a method. It's called the wisdom of Kabbalah. And what it talks about is how we can actually realize what Abraham wrote about, that love covers all crimes that even though we start from animosity and, and, even, and hostility and even hatred towards each other, we can rise above that, we can transcend that and cover that with love, create bonds of love, and then we live on both levels. It's called the evil inclination and the good inclination. Both exist, one covers the other. That's the only way we can coexist. Two forms of nature, plus and minus, that exist together. They need each other. To, and that opens up a whole range of possibilities between us in terms of how to rebuild our ecological system and our family units and our social systems and everything from this world to the... To, to the higher world, it, and all states in between. It only happens through that connection between opposites that the wisdom of Kabbalah describes how to do. But to at least comprehend the concept and understand that we have no choice but to become like that, even just that, that awareness can bring the world calmness.